Whilst in Nigeria, has Meghan Markle just tried to con the world into believing that she's still royal? Hey up everyone, it's me, Steph the Alter Nerd, your nerdy alternative, and welcome to another dose of the Daily Nerd, where I break down the royal news and gossip of the day that's pretty much got me eye, and oh my goodness. Yeah, let's jump into this madness, shall we? Now let me just explain. As soon as, as far as I'm concerned, Megzi and Hazza left the royal family for Megzi, they ceased to be royal as far as I'm concerned. Yes, they have the titles, but that's it as far as I'm concerned. With that being said, though, I'm asking a question for a friend here. Did Megzi just try and con the world into believing that she's still royal whilst on this Nigerian trip? Now, as far as I'm concerned, when you look at things like this, American Riviera Orchard, her new brand, right, with the logo that looks distinctly royal to me and some would argue has hidden HRH uh, in this particular logo here, and when you also consider the notion that Sussex.com certainly has a royal feel to it, has she tried to continue this as far as I'm concerned, con into trying to gaslight the world to believe that she's still royal whilst on this Nigerian trip? Well, <laughs> any conspiracy theory, whatever, I certainly think so. Now, let's start off with Kinsey Schofield. And this is what she had to say recently on GB News. I think I think in general, yes, the objective of this trip is to appear like they are still on the level of the real working royals. Uh, you said a few minutes ago they've become a joke in, in the States specifically, but also in the UK, and they need to improve their image for the Sussex brand as a whole. Um, you know, I mean, it was, you know, despite being stripped of his military titles, Mark, by the late Queen Elizabeth, Prince Harry in Nigeria was seen inspecting the troops. This is odd. He's not not a working member of the royal family. That's something he would have done 10 years ago. Uh, and to quote the Daily Beast, they say the king is never going to endorse a hostile rival royal operation. And I think that that is exactly what we see with Harry and Meghan. And the objective, again, is to monetize off of those connections. OK, so this is what Kinsey has said, and I completely agree with her. Now, when you look at what actually happened in Nigeria, it's absolutely shocking. And each step of the way, it gets even worse, guys. Now, first and foremost, this is one clip that absolutely went viral all over Twitter. And I agree with at Amber underscore Lee one. This is absolutely grotesque. As Princess Pinocchio was saying underneath, this is surely a step too far. Playing God Save the King whilst Hazza and Megzi stand lapping it up, he couldn't sing it at his own father's coronation. Here we go, this is insane. Why would they do that? They're not working royals. As far as I'm concerned, the royal by title, but not by nature at this point. This is not a royal tour. This is insane. But is this part of an effort for Megzi to try and con the world during this Nigerian visit into believing that she's still royal? Oh my goodness. Now the reactions came in thick and fast to this particular clip. So we've got a Lady B of Belize saying, not sure what to make of this. Either it's a badass troll move by the event organizers or the Harkles have pitched their visit as a quasi royal tour. Either way, seeing them endure this pain is almost retribution for the Netflix fake curtsy in my humble opinion. Now, as far as I'm concerned, the reason why I'm showing you this particular tweet is at Lady B of Belize, I respectfully disagree with the majority of this tweet. But this bit here, all the Harkles have pitched their visit as a quasi-royal tour. 
that bit makes sense. Because there are other instances where, as far as I'm concerned, Meg's it, a pinny conspiracy theory or whatever, may have tried to con the world during the Nigerian visit into believing that she's still royal. There's many other instances potentially of that whereby, yeah, maybe before they came to Nigeria as they were speaking and organising it all, that, yeah, she did pitch it as a quasi-royal tour. Because there are other instances where they are treating them as fully-fledged royals. And we're going to get onto that in a moment, so stay tuned in this video. But here we go, according to Taz, my good friend here on YouTube, if you're not subscribed to her, get it done now. Uh, it's a travesty if you're not. Uh, saying a private holiday? Yeah. Uh, as Fee Button says, what the hell is this? They aren't representing the royal family in any way, shape or form. And then absolutely tagging the royal family, saying, look, can you please do something about this debacle? Something definitely needs to be done. So here is another instance of Nigeria treating them as fully-fledged royals. They're not. This is Hazza um, inspecting the guards, inspecting the troops. This should not have happened as far as I'm concerned. This is not a royal tour. They are there as private citizens. They are not working royals. They are royals by title only. That is it. As at K. Austin says, at K. Oz 1976, so Harry is treated like the king now? The royal family cannot let go. He needs to have his title stripped. I absolutely agree. This is obscene. And again, is this an instance of Megzi and Hazard in this case trying to con the world during their Nigerian visit into believing they're still royal? They're still fully-fledged royals. When this was not supposed to be any form of a royal tour whatsoever. Again, this is insane. Now, it gets even worse. So thanks to At The Wanton Wrench here for this one, I was under the impression that they were forbidden from using HRH. Yeah, I was too. But uh, when we play this video... announced the arrival of our special guest, His Royal Highness, the Duke and Princess of Sussex. What? I'm under the impression shouldn't be used publicly at all. That's it. It's done. Yeah. Yeah. I told you it gets worse. I told you it gets worse. Um, but guys, it gets even more obscene, okay? So here... Uh, eagle eyes on Twitter are like, oh my goodness, Megzi is cosplaying Princess Diana yet again. Uh, here we've got the Royal Eagle at Congelige O.N. If I've mispronounced that, my apologies. But here we go. So this is Princess Diana. Um, I think this is during Princess Diana's visit to Nigeria when she went. Here we go. Beautiful in all the glory, of course. Here's Megzi. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I don't think the direct line to Princess Diana is working, but she's damn giving it a good old college try, isn't she? Uh, here we go at Lubug Windsor. Who wore it best in Nigeria, need we ask? I don't think so. But again... Megzi trying to channel Princess Diana, is that a way of trying to con the world during a Nigerian visit that she's still a fully-fledged royal? So much so that she's trying to cosplay Princess Diana to pull at the emotional heartstrings, right? Again, I'm just asking for a friend here. Now, uh, Remy is a good boy. If you're not following them on Twitter... Do it now. Again, it's a travesty if you're not, to be fair. They're absolutely amazing at breaking down the royal family in terms of what they're wearing, down to the shoes, the accessories. So fascinating, right? And they did this uh, for Megzi with the first outfit that she wore in Nigeria. And they found out that it was the Windsor dress by Heidi Merrick. Yeah. The first dress that she wears is called the Windsor dress. Come the frick on. 
again. I'm asking just for a friend. Is Megsy trying to con the world during this Nigerian visit into believing that she's still royal? Even down to the choice of the freaking dress that she's wearing, literally called the Windsor dress. Now, the New York Post jumped on this one here, uh, saying that it's ignited a fierce debate in terms of her wearing this Windsor dress, right? Some wondered if it was a subtle nod to the House of Windsor. Others saw it as an affront. So one person commented on Twitter, because screw you, Elon Musk, I'm still not calling it X, a saying, but they've been trying to erase the Windsor from their lives completely. But here comes Mrs. Sussex wearing a dress called Windsor. Done as a snub, definitely, another one said. Megzi is desperate to have ties to Windsor name. Another one saying a strategic marriage and unstrategic moves since then have backfired. Like a dress with the name gives her the legitimacy that continues to elude her. Exactly. She's desperate to have ties to the Windsor name and she's desperate to have a dress with the Windsor name to somehow have some kind of tie and legitimacy to that Windsor name. Again, using what she is wearing... Is she trying again to con the world during this Nigerian visit into believing that she's still a fully-fledged royal? You have literally Prince Hazard inspecting the guards, inspecting the troops. What? This ain't supposed to be a royal tour. You have them filmed standing as God Save the King is played. Again, this ain't supposed to be a royal tour. You have them coming into an event being announced as His Royal Highness. Again, this ain't supposed to be a royal tour. You then have Megsy trying to cosplay Princess Diana to try and make her out, as far as I'm concerned, to be a fully-fledged royal. Then you've got the first dress that she is wearing in Nigeria, literally called the Windsor dress. Anyone that's saying that that's a coincidence, guys, you need your heads examined. Megsy does not do things, as far as I'm concerned, by coincidence. Extremely calculated she is. She chose it, as far as I'm concerned, because it's literally called the Windsor dress. She's the freaking bed, guys. So, I'm asking for a friend. What do you guys think? After everything I've just shown you, has Megzi just tried to con the world during a Nigerian visit into believing that she's still a fully-fledged royal? With that being said, if you appreciated this video and you want more, believe me, of course there's going to be more, then make sure you subscribe to join our Alt and Her tribe. I'll be honest with you, help us now get to a million so we can also get that gold play button right there and hopefully cause a Meghan Markle meltdown on Instagram. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever's. Also as well, if you've got some very strong opinions about if Megzi's trying to con the world, and I bet you do, then make sure you send me a super thanks. It's just below this video right here. We can have a conversation about this because it does guarantee a response from me. And until the next time, you guys. Laters!